Well, on the topic of ratings, we got the Wednesday night numbers to talk about, and you talked a little bit about the demos and how certain demos are doing as compared to Raw and SmackDown, but, you know, we have that, and we also have the two shows combined. I mean, the way things are going with the descent of Raw, and if the numbers that we saw this Wednesday continue going in this direction, I mean, Wednesday is going to become wrestling night. Here it is. Um, the only the the only demo that counts. I mean, yeah, over fifty, it's not. But in the demos that count, the only one left that Wednesday isn't number one in is women thirty five to forty nine. And every other demo, Wednesday already is. This what's been happening in the last five months since February. I mean, the article in the Observer this week is really important. It's really, I mean. I, People who've read it and understand it realize, oh, my God, like this is like one of the most important stories of the year. And a lot of people haven't read it and a lot of people don't really understand it. And the key is it's not necessarily today. You know, I mean, I mean, to, to you know, you really need to look, you know, wrestling is not about today. Wrestling is about tomorrow, because if you're about if you're thinking today, you're going to be behind the guys who are thinking about tomorrow. And. What's happened, and you know, there's there's no guarantee things will continue going the way they are. WWE could make a resurgence, AEW could fall, but um, essentially, what's happening is WWE is falling at a, a very fast rate, um, and AEW is staying steady and actually, you know, going up, you know, in 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 certain aspects. I mean, they're going up, they're going up with women, they're going up with eight, they're going up strongly with 18 to 34s. They're still, they're not going up with 35 to 49s just yet, but they're falling much slower than Raw and SmackDown are falling, and, and NXT for that matter as well. So um, essentially there's, there's a line um, that's going down for WWE, and it's steady and rising depending on the age group with AEW. And these lines are going to intersect if things don't change, you know, and it's just a question of when. Well, in 18 to 34, those lines intersected last week. Um, last week was, this would be the, well, this week. This is the first week where they beat both Raw and SmackDown. Um, they had beaten them twice in women, 1834. Women came before men. Uh, teenagers, they're not quite there yet, but they're not far behind. And if things continue to go in this direction, that will be the next age group to fall. 35 to 49 will take a little bit longer. 50 plus, they will never, you know, I don't want to say never because never is a long time, but they will never um, in any, any, any short form because in 50 plus, they're falling at the same rate as, um, you know, as, as Raw and SmackDown. NXT is the one show that's doing well with, with 50 plus and not falling at all. But um, so the key is, but it, in, you know, if you, if things keep going, I mean, it's like there's already been a substantial, the, 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 the beating, when you have competition, you know, and, and the key is, is if there was no NXT and they were sitting there alone, they would be beating Raw substantially. Right now, it's, it's essentially a tie, but they did win this week. They already are beating SmackDown substantially, which is, is a complete, like, uh, like I said, it's a complete indictment of SmackDown because that, you know, there are so many advantages of SmackDown. You know, again, more homes, uh, more established, um, you know, it, 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 it makes absolutely no sense that they're already beating them. Um, you know, in, in time, I think the pandemic has sped up a timeline that was going to happen anyway, um, because Raw and SmackDown were falling, but they were, this th sped up their fall. And, you know, and it's not even, you know, because a, a lot of people thought, well, the big advantage AEW has is that they have that great crowd that pops for everything. That was the one thing I always heard. You know, it's like, it doesn't have to be good. That crowd pops for everything. It's like, which isn't true, but, um, that that's what that was taken away. They got no crowd advantage. Um, you know, they all have the same wrestling crowd that's not getting anybody new over because it can't, and also allowing the bad matches to sound good because they're going to react no matter what. So everyone's on the same ball, you know, ballpark. Um, I mean, they have a nicer looking building uh, that helps a little bit, but you know, at the end of the at the end of the day, they're you know, they're, they're falling very slightly in most, uh, groups except for women, uh, which are, which are rising and they're, um, and, and, um, 18, 18 to 34 males as well. And, you know, um, Raw and SmackDown are falling huge 
I mean, uh, it was 35.5% in 1849s for Raw, uh, 38.7% for SmackDown. I mean, these, these are, you know, in five months, these are gigantic falls. So it's, it's not like AEW is, like, growing great, but it is Raw and SmackDown falling to the level of AEW. And realistically, again, if you're talking about there are more... 18 to 49s watching SmackDown, not 1834, but 18 to 49s that watch SmackDown. But if you look at, at, at it from a percentage of the homes that actually get the station, they already beat SmackDown on a smaller station with competition. I mean, which, and, and that's the real key demo. I mean, if you are Fox right now and you look at, you know, those two shows, I mean, today, you know, I'm not talking about like in two years, two years, it could be, you know, a lot more. It could be the gap could be even bigger. If you look at today, um, with competition, um, AEW's already had a SmackDown. They are not ahead of Raw, and there are ways because of the thirty-five to forty-nine. They are ways from Raw, but at the rate of decline, they will catch Raw fairly soon. Um, so, I mean, if you're, again, if you're looking at these patterns, this is um, like for for Nick Khan coming in. It's like, and I know you know he. he he has to know this, but this is the challenge for WWE. And you got to also remember that ratings patterns, uh, trail, um, you know what I mean? It's like, it takes months of good TV before you're going to get the bump in the ratings, generally speaking, before people are going to catch on and the WWE decline that's going on right now. That's not a decline just on what they're doing now. That's a decline that's been building up for months and months and the pandemic obviously has been a real big part of it, but it's been, it's, it's not like it just happened in July and it's just happening in August. It's been happening for months and it gets worse. So, I mean, when you look at the situation, this is, this is really, I mean, again, when I, when I, on Tuesday, I went through all of this stuff because I've been kind of just actually for about two weeks, I wanted to do it. And then, uh, I just didn't have the time. And then the day when I did it, when I was done, I was like, Looking at this, it's like, holy shit. No one's recognized what's happening here. And it's the, the problem is it may have already happened. It already has, again, it's already happened in 1834, and it's about to happen in, in, in teenagers already. And that's the future audience, too. Now, like I said, there's no guarantee it will stay like this. Um, but the pattern right now is that the gap will, the gap is even and will continue to get We'll, we'll start growing in the other direction for 18 to 34s and for women. And in 35 to 49s, they will start catching up. And by then, it's like, what's the story? What's the, you know, sooner or later, you know, the, the analysts are half seeing it, but they don't, they don't even see it yet. And the TV publications don't see it yet. But when they do, you know, the story, you know, what's the story at that point? Because once that becomes the story and it, the actual story is out, that look at this it's already too late because now, now you're the uncool group that's, that's been failing, which hasn't really been out yet. Although wrestling fans are kind of aware of it. Um, and then the other group is, you know, what happened to this? The, the story in wrestling becomes this group's less than one year old and they're beating WWE. That's been on national TV for 36 years. What's going on? What is happening? And um, so anyway, that could be, future well i mean what's happening is the same thing that's been happening for years but the difference is you know before there was an aw if you were a wwe fan you said to suck it up and watch this show and now there's an alternative yeah well there's always an alternative there was always well, i mean you could watch football or you could watch whatever tried. but they, they never they never there was and there was new japan but they they never the one thing is they never had the exposure on a strong property as tnt which was which is part of it um, and, and WWE wasn't as weak when, um, when, uh, you know, TNA was on spike. Um, you know, that was, that was another thing they, they, they were not, you know, I mean that, so that, that's, that's a different thing. And also TNA never had its act together, anything close to this. You know, some people will argue that, but you know, I mean, anyone who understands wrestling knows that's the case. Anyone who watches the shows can figure out it's the case. I mean, you can look at, well, you know, TNA absolutely did have more television viewers, but it was a completely different era of television. And, you know, if AEW was around in that era, they would have a lot more viewers than, than uh, TNA had. And the way I can say that is because look at 
look at the arena business and compare it. You know, it's like one was happy to do a thousand. The other one was averaging 6,000 before we hit the pandemic. And then, um, you know, pay-per-views, you know, it's essentially double the best and, and three or four times the average, um, you know, and, and at the, by the end, when they were still doing numbers on, they, when they were still doing ratings on Spike, the last, uh, um, uh, the, the stadium stampede pay-per-view would have done, uh, let me do my math, 14 to 15 times more than uh, TNA was doing. So no, you know, I know people would go, oh, they had 1.4 million viewers or they had 2 million viewers. And it's like, yeah, but that's not the only metric. And when these, you know, another, when this merchandise hits Walmart, which I guess kind of did this week, you think that it's going to draw the kind of numbers that the, TNA merchandise did it's gonna kill it I mean come on I mean it's again it's just it's there's a lot of common sense here and um you know a lot of it's I think it's surprised look it surprised me you know that um it happened this soon I can't say it surprised me that it happened that it was that would eventually happen because WWE is um you know it's not relevant to kids and so there's an opening for something to be relevant to kids and the kids Again, the thing with the AEW also is is that um, most or many, many people still have no awareness of it, have no idea it's there, and those people can still be hooked. In the homes that know about it, it's much more popular because that's what the viewers per home thing is. And the viewers per home thing, um, I mean, that's another stat that you know I've been having in the Observer that like I don't think people really get. It's like, no, this tells you, like, in the households that are watching, you know, there people are watching this show, show together, and they're not watching the other shows together. Not nearly as much. Um, I mean, not. I mean, people watch this more together than than watch UFC, which is amazing. So, I mean, these are really interesting signs. But like I said, if I'm sitting here and I'm at Fox right now, it's like if 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 you want to keep wrestling in 2024, right now, right now, today, I would say the pick is AEW. Now, now in two years, it could be completely different or in two years, it could be even stronger. But right now today, one's going up, one's going down with, you know, um, no, they're not there with 18 to 40. Well, I shouldn't say that because again, as a percentage of the homes that are there in 18 to 49, they're already winning. And that's that, that's the key numbers, the 18 to 49. Um, they're already slightly ahead of SmackDown. And again, theoretically, if you move them to, a Fox with promotion from Fox, you're, you're going to help. And they're not going to like do what happened with WWE where you start out really big and then you die because you don't give people a good show. These guys are giving people a good show. Um, you're going to get more families watching together. Um, and you know, you're going to get a, and you're going to get better television product. I mean, compared to two television products. I mean, I never would have said this a week ago. And a week ago, I would have said, that's crazy. But it's not crazy. And it's already happened. I mean, it's already there right now. And I would have thought, you know, in, in 2022, this could, hap- this could happen by 2022. It, 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 it already happened this week. So this week was the big turning point. Well, right now, Fox has SmackDown, and the number was up a little bit this week, not substantially. And amazingly, yeah, but, it, but, it, but it was but it was it was down with 18 to 34s. And I don't know. I don't know about 35 to 49s yet. I won't know that till Tuesday. But I do know with 18 to 34s, they were they were down to a point two on that on network television. And you're talking about like AEW was a point three on cable television with competition. That's a big difference. That's a, that's huge. That's honest. That's a huge difference. So it's like, yeah, their overall viewers were up, but again, that's 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 not really an important metric. I mean, it's something you can look at, but it's it's really not that important. I mean, like, because if, if, if you're just going by viewers, SmackDown's canceled because it's usually last place every single Friday. But it's not about viewers. It's about demos, and SmackDown actually, you know, is in first right now also because everybody else is in reruns but still it's in first so it's not a disaster but it's still here's another one too um advertiser spending in television is way way down almost almost 40 percent down um advertiser spending due to the pandemic 
So you've got, when it comes to um, SmackDown and Raw, which are being, the ad number, m- money is determined by the 18 to 49 number. So you've got, like I said, you've got a 37, you know, was it 35.5 and 37.3% drop respectively of those shows in that demo combined with far less ad spending. So these two companies are, um, the value, I mean, they're losing, you know, really incredible amounts of money with those big rights fees, which is another thing, you know, again, when you're looking at Fox, because if Fox wants another show or a Friday night show, they can get better demos today than SmackDown. Now, of course, I can't tell 2004, 24, 2024, but they can get better demos today, and they're not going to have to spend $205 million to get that contract. They can get it for If they spend $100 I, I, I'm almost sure they can get that for $100 million. So you're saving $100 million, you're going to get um, you know, better demos um, and a better show. So, um, again, they may not be thinking that, but in time – there's going to be someone there who will figure this out, you know, and probably a lot sooner than later, because, um, you know, at some point this is going to be a big media story. Um, I don't know exactly when that's probably, that's probably up to, uh, AW's publicity department being able to, uh, figure this out and, and get that story to, um, you know, the business journals and the TV journals, but it's there, it's there to be had. 